Hi everyone, Rusty Dog here, and welcome to a little video um, which I'm going to show you uh, about how to cure an issue, what I term to be an issue, uh, in SnowRunner, which has been bothering me since day one. And if any of you who play SnowRunner have the same issue or deem it to be an issue, then here is a solution. Um, so this is a little program, which I don't think has been updated for a few years now. It's called Cursor Lock. Okay, it doesn't lock that little underline thing that you that sits where you type, because that is a cursor. But it actually locks your mouse pointer to your screen boundaries. So I'm going to show you how to set this up for SnowRunner. Um, I won't be showing you everything because the rest I'll I'll describe, and it'll be very easy for you to, to 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 figure it out. Trust me, you'll be fine. All right. So um, I'll put the website where you can obtain Cursor Lock in the video description. It's already up been on my Discord in the other game chat um, server for a channel uh, for a few days now. But I'll I'll put it here in the in the this video description. Okay, so first thing I did was set up a hotkey to toggle the lock, which is Control X. That's what I used. Of course, you can use whatever you want. Uh, just click in here and then just type the key. So, for example, I can change it to pressing down Shift and D. Um, and what this does is this is really handy because it toggles um, the cursor being locked, <laughs> the pointer being locked inside the screen. Uh, the, the monitor. So th this is only useful to you if you're running on um, triple screens or, or twin screens or whatever. You have two. If you have multi monitor, um, then you will, you know, you will have this issue of your of your mouse going outside the uh, the borders in SnowRunner. If you've got a single monitor, this won't affect you. So you don't even need to watch this video unless you just like the sound of my voice. So, okay, Control and X, uh, which I use in game. Uh, when I press that in game, I can then take my mouse outside of the the monitor, um, the main monitor, and go into any of the side monitors to click on any programs or anything I've got running there, whatever. Uh, MP3 player, perhaps, whatever. Come back in the game, click in the game, press Control X. In fact, if your mouse pointer is on another screen and you press Control X, it'll whip the mouse back into SnowRunner and keep it there. So uh, it's very good. So how do we set all this up? All right, so in Shortcut then, you have these different modes. Pro uh, you have Program Mode, User Mode. Uh, um, I haven't really got to using these yet. User Strict Mode and Unlock Mode. So we're going to be using Program Mode and we want to be on this one. We want to define a program that we want to lock. Um, so we're going to click that and then we're going to navigate. And I've already got it here. So in my SnowRunner folder, I have the ENUS folder, the sources folder, the bin folder, and then snowrunner.exe. And we click that. Okay, so that's going to be the path. Now, close after lock. I can't remember whether I enabled that. Um, but you might be able to, you might try one with and one without. Uh, I think I did close after lock. Um, but close what? Close this program? Yeah, I'm going to leave that off for now. Um, the way to find out which is correct is um, well, we'll, we'll, let's come back to that later. Let's come back to this later. I'm going to leave it off for now. But in the norm, after you've played SnowRunner and clicked Exit Game, then the cursor lock that runs in the background should also quit. Um, and you'll know if it has, because if you run the cursor locked version of SnowRunner again from the shortcut, um, it, should, it should just be no response. That's fine, that's what you want. But if it says um, another version of cursor lock is already running, then you know it hasn't closed, in which case you'll have to come back here, create another shortcut. So 
what have we done? Well, we've clicked on lock program. That's what we want to do. Uh, we've gone to the exe file, the application file, personnel runner. That's what we've done. Got keys off. We don't want that. Uh, this, I don't know, I'll leave it. Um, and there you can see it's created a little command line there. And all you do now is click on create shortcut. That's it. And what that's going to do is going to put a shortcut on your desktop that will be called SnowRunner Cursor Lock. That's it. Once that's on your desktop, you double click that and then you go into SnowRunner. You've got to double click the cursor lock first. It won't run SnowRunner, you just double click it. Now, double clicking this shortcut that is created by cursor lock, as I said, you'll double click it. Nothing will happen. There'll be no visual responses. There'll be no sound responses. Nothing. Um, but if you get, if you run it for a second time after playing SnowRunner and you've come out and you double click SnowRunner cursor lock shortcut for a second time um, and it tells you you've already got one running, then you want to put this option on. Uh, the other thing I did, the only option I did put on was this one, force lock, and I, I didn't want to mess about. So lock program, locate the program, force lock, create shortcut. I already have a shortcut on my desktop, which is why I don't need to show it to you. Uh, or don't want to. I don't want to create another one. Um, so create shortcut here. Put one on your desktop. If you have SnowRunner on your desktop, the game, uh, then you can just click the shortcut that's created by this and then the game and you're good to go. Um, if you run it from the Epic Games launcher, makes no difference. Just make sure you double click on SnowRunner Cursor Lock first. All right, that's it. And then once you go in the game, you'll find that your mouse pointer is locked to the screen boundaries. That's it. It's done and it works. And if you want to take your mouse pointer out, of course, the hotkey you defined, Control X, will allow you to go outside of the, the, the monitor region. All right. So any questions, any issues you may have, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Right. So I'm sure that might, might have helped just one other person, if, if that. <laughs> it's probably just me that's whinging about this. All right. That's it. I'm out of here. Bye.